Take your Husky, your Irish Wolfhound, um, your St. Bernard Shih Tzu, and we're going to put them down because they look a little bit vicious. You know, we wouldn't want them to attack anybody, bite someone, you know, for no reason. Yeah, they look like they could do that, so let's be proactive about it now and just kill them, put them down. That's what's going on right now in Montreal with the Pitbull ban. And I'm out, absolutely outraged about it. Um, I think there's a better way to deal with these types of things than to just dispose of a breed of dogs because of their reputation that humans have given them. This happened with Rottweilers in the past, uh, Dobermans. But why? Because humans put them in fighting pits, or trained them poorly, and made them this way. So, um, if I was living in Montreal, I would definitely be protesting about this. It's unfortunate I live a province away, but I do know for a fact that a great majority of my province and Ontario are very disgusted with Montreal's decision to do this right now and whoever has agreed to this um, it makes no sense at all next thing you know we'll be banning black cats because they're bad luck let's get real and realize that what's happening right now is extremely cruel it's inhumane and it makes no sense not at all so as I said, this happened in the past with Rottweilers and Dobermans. There's a few other large breeded dogs that were almost banned or shunned because of similar accusations that they would attack someone only because they were known to be placed in these bad situations or abused by their owners. I've never once in my life met a bad pit bull. Actually, most of them are very, very sooky, and they love lots of attention. So Montreal, you need to get your stuff together because you're making a huge mistake. And some of you may not realize it now, but later down the road, you might just feel bad. Not all dogs are going to attack you just because of their size. Look at the Irish Wolfhound. That thing is the size of, like, a large wolf. <laughs> it doesn't mean they're going to attack you. So if you have a fear of dogs, just keep your distance from them. If you don't understand dogs, keep your distance from them. Because clearly you're mistaking any warning signs that they've been giving you. Or making up in your own mind some terrible tra traumatic thing that's probably not going to happen, a.k.a. them attacking you or biting you. And people have muzzles on their dogs now because they're scared of idiots like you getting too close to their dog and maybe scaring them, the dog in return defending themselves, and maybe they would bite you. Because people like you who are uneducated about animals will make those accusations. That's why big bad dogs have muscles on them to protect themselves. Because one little bite will send them right to euthanization. And I think it's nuts. Anyways, Montreal, I really hope you realize what's going down over there is very very inhumane and a lot of Canada is really disappointed in you right now so hopefully you realize do your research that these dogs are really not that bad and you take a stand for them because they're equally as innocent as your little shih tzu your little chihuahua your husky your golden retriever it's not their fault that humans made them do bad things or trained them poorly and I can safely say I've never been harmed by a pit bull. I actually got attacked by a wiener dog 
Yep, got a little chunk taken out of my hand. So it goes to show that size doesn't count. The smaller ones are yappier. But it all comes down to how you train your pet, what you teach them to do and not to do, the same way children are raised by their parents.